All right, if you have a slide with cables, you have to see this, okay? Check it out. Our camper is a 2020 Cougar 34 TSB. So I was pretty surprised one day when I looked up and I heard this noise when I was bringing the slide in and I was like, what's going on? Check this out. You see that? It's like fraying already. I think it's a 2021 model, actually. The salesman at Camping World said, dudes, these cables are the best. It's not like he worked in service or anything, but he said, these are the ones that are the most consistent and they won't break on you. And so I'm like, okay, cool. Never had cables before, but I had Schwintex and you've probably seen my video before on how those broke and that Rockwood, they broke all the time. So I was, I think I replaced three motors anyway. So now I look and this cable is fraying and breaking already. Here's the kicker of it. The reason it's doing that is because when it pulls it in, this bracket should really be lower. And I don't know why, but when it pulls it in, this cable goes like this, and then it gets to this point, and I want to show you. You see right there, that metal part on the top? It's rubbing on that, and it's, it's starting to break. So what I've done in the meantime is I've put a bunch of electrical tape on it to stop it from fraying and to stop it from cutting into it. But look, if you can see, it's already cutting through the tape on the top, it's just causing a problem. So what I have to do, I have to go up there and try to like shave out that part right there so it doesn't rub against it. The kids and I are going to uh, South Dakota for dad and kids trip and I wanna do this probably now cause I think the last thing I wanna do is go out to South Dakota and have this break, All right? I'm already two or three strands down already. They have these little rubber pieces on and you see this one, look at, look at that one. It's doing it too. So it, oh, I see it now. yeah, it's rubbing right there. There's a piece of metal. It's probably hard to see, but it's right there and it's rubbing on it. It's like, it's like pulled down chipping on it. it. Yeah. It's like chipping it off. That's, that's not cool. We can't have that. What I wanted to show you is just, this looks like it's a it's point of wear with these. So check these out don't really closely. And um, if, the, if yours is starting to do something like this, like, a stopgap measure is to put some electrical tape around it so that it will eat into the tape before it eats into the cable. Um, I did that a few weeks ago and we've gotten, you know, a bunch of opens and closes with it, okay. Uh -huh. um, but it then it looks shipping. like they have these rubber pieces <laughs> uh, and they glue them here like that. So if you look and you see a rubber piece that has all of this holes in it like that, then take a close look at how your slides are. So let me show you. I'll show you one that I think is fine over here. No, this one's, look at that. Look at, it's doing it too. You see? Oh yeah, look at, look at, yep. Busted up. That one. That one looks okay. Let me go to the other side. So it's like that. My, the main side is really messed up. See, look at, that's what it should look like. Nice and clean. And then that piece, there's no holes in it. There's just one hole. So that's what it should look like. So go around, inspect your slides, especially if you have these cables. Check it out. Yeah, that, see that? That's perfect. That's what it should look like. Up there, looks good too. So my whole main slide, it's like, so that one's good too. The whole main side is just, just not, not good. So it's garbage. All right, let me show you what's happening here. See, this is the cable that goes inside, and you can tell right there that that's where the cable is like rubbing, because the cable goes across, and up here. I mean, it's really hard to tell, because but you can really tell when the slide is coming in that this is way higher than it should be. It should really be down here. So what's my fix here? Is my fix to move this down or to try to etch this out? So that was my question. So I thought, well, I'll take a drill and drill a hole. I don't know if you can see or not, that's like thick steel. Maybe it's not steel, maybe it's aluminum, but anyway, it's pretty thick. And so what I was hoping to do is just reach in with the pliers and, and grab it right there and then pull it up. But man, it's just not happening. This is just so thick and I don't know here what's behind there in my mind i don't really want to move that but that could be the easiest thing let me go around check the other side so we're right here we're right at the black mark right on a slide that's looking or it's working well this one look at that 
Can you see it? Look at this one. Right here. That's a good inch lower. And that one's looking good. Same thing on this one. It's like an inch lower. I decided to try to take these out because look at this. Look at this. Can you see that? I can freely spin this right here. So let's see what kind of screw this is. It's probably just a lag bolt of some sort. Yeah. So I think what we'll do, I, I think we'll just try to move it down about an inch. And give that a shot. And then that way I can put the slide in and see if I need to move it at all. I think this is easier than trying to etch this out. So I used one of the holes and just stuck it in there. This is the one that will move, but look at I put it right about, yeah, right about an inch or so. I could probably slide it down a little bit. But then I think I can just drive those other ones right in here and it'll be, be good to go. There wasn't much, surprisingly, there wasn't much behind these. These came out pretty easily. So I was thinking there was supposed to be some kind of, I thought maybe there were even bolts that went through the slide. Because, I mean, to me, this is a big deal, right? This whole thing pulls the whole thing in, but maybe they're thinking because there's four of them, they don't have to really be in there all that much. I'm gonna roll it in so I can show you what it looks like, and I think this might just be the answer. This might not even be that big of a deal, but if you catch it early, then you don't have to bring your RV somewhere and have them hold it for a month or something while they wait to get somebody that can work on it. One thing, when you're working on your your stuff, make sure you don't keep anything on the side when you roll it in, and then also don't forget about the stuff you put on top, okay? All right, let's bring it in. Lojo, are we ready? Yep. She's ready, she helped me clean up the area. All right, now I didn't show you what it was before, but we moved it down an inch so you can uh, just guess what, what it was like. All right, notice how the cable is going in there. I have two bolts in there right now, okay? Now see, look at how it's coming in straight. Perfect, it's exactly what I want. Now imagine that was an inch higher and you could see why it was putting so much stress on the cable there and it was rubbing on the top part of that metal. So it, it's really, all it comes down to is it wasn't assembled correctly. These campers aren't cheap, right? When you buy a camper that they say is a quality camper and you use it a few times and your cables start breaking because it wasn't put together correctly, it's, uh, it's frustrating. And that's why when I see some videos where people are talking about how the service, RV service industry is really backed up, it's probably because of stuff like this. So RV service guys, if you're watching, make notes, send it up to the factory, tell them, guys, you guys aren't taking time to figure this out. They should have specs on this, right? <laughs> they should know where those things go. And if somebody's breaking cables, you should know why. If you have trouble when you're putting these in, what I like to do is take the bit out of my drill, put the screw in it, right? Take it over here, get it lined up and ready, and then knock on it to get it through the metal. Make sure you don't hit your thumb. Okay, that's it. Right there, we're all set. All right, it's getting pretty dark, so I'm just gonna show you really quick the finished product. And uh, I haven't put any silicone on there or anything yet, but I went ahead and moved it down, and then we got all the bolts back in. So just go ahead and move it, and then when you bring it back in, make sure it's straight, okay? Uh, and then the next thing I'll have to do is put some silicone on here, and then I'll probably go around here and silicone that up. Uh, just so we keep the water from going in there. We do not want water to go in there. Uh, I got some silicone in a little squirt thing and I'll be filling that up, but it's getting dark really fast. It's part of my toolkit that I bring with me everywhere and I'm gonna do a video on that. There's just a few essential things that you should have and I actually should have put it back here. Uh, one of those is butyl tape, but that's part of the kit. I'm gonna, I'll show you that a little bit later. But anyway, we're getting ready to go to dad and kids trip. So we're just packing up, getting ready to go out of town. We're gonna have a lot of fun. Got the scooters loading everything inside the truck. So we're gonna have a great time. So if you're brand new here, check us out. Be sure to subscribe. We do a lot of cool things. And I'm gonna show you all the tips so that you can keep your RV out of the service place. Because if your RV's in the service place, then you're not out exploring like you should be. Anyway, have a great night. Talk to you soon. Thanks, bye.